good morning everybody today is friday oh the sun i'm sorry y'all i'm leaving my neighborhood i'm on my way to work it's friday and i know i haven't did a video for you guys in a while so i decided why not do a video on my way to work so um i wish i wasn't going to work you know, thank God I have a job, but I'd rather be in the bed. This sun is not going to let me be great. I cut my hair. I needed to trim it anyway, so I did that. Um, I don't know any new updates to tell you guys. I know I haven't posted a video in like two weeks. So... trying to do a video now hopefully this weekend I do something fun I don't know what it's gonna be oh this weekend the 7th and the 8th if you live near a value village or a savers they are having 50% off for um, customers appreciation but I think you do have to be subscribed to their email subscriber list or whatever to get the coupon because you do have to show the coupon when you um, go to purchase so I plan to go to Value Village this weekend um, I have two that I like to go to so hopefully I find something at either one of them um, I hate when people are coming up behind you fast in their cars that just really bothers me. Like, when do you slow down? When do you hit the brake? Um, so, save, Savers or Value Village is having 50% off um, Saturday and Sunday, which is July 8th and the 9th. Um, what else? Hopefully, I'm able to take my daughter with me. She, as she gotten older, she done got a little bougie. Like, she don't want to go to the thrift store. Or if she does want to go to a thrift store, it's something for a doll or something. I don't know. I told you you need to mix, you know, thrifted clothes with brand new clothes. You know, mix it up. You don't have to have brand new clothes all the time. But I guess when you're not spending the money on these brand new clothes, you really don't care about that. So maybe she'll care when she get older and she has to start buying her own clothes, right? But it is a beautiful day here in Houston. Um, it's shiny right now. We haven't had rain this week. I don't remember it raining this week. So the weather's been good all week. Um, I don't know what the weekend is going to look like. Hopefully this good weather continues throughout the weekend. So I'll be able to do something. Um, I have taken on a new venture. It's kind of fun. But uh, I've been testing out this mystery shopping industry or whatever. So I have done two. Two? Yeah, I have done two um, different mystery shops. So I'm going to see how that works. Um, and see how much money I could possibly make. I was uh, talking to a friend of mine and she actually does the mystery shopping and she um, she said she made like $900 in two months just off of mystery shopping. Of course she has a full time job as well but um, you know just for something on the side she said she made $900 in two months. So um, I think it was another YouTuber on here. She said she made I can't remember, but I have been, you know, checking it out on YouTube, doing a little research. Um, I know the Hids and Her Money um, YouTube channel, they did mystery shopping for a while. I think they made like two or $300. I don't know if they're still doing it. I don't think so, because I haven't heard them say anything about it on their videos. But um, I know they did it for a while. Um, and they was actually telling people to, you know, to try it out and stuff. So, which I wanted to do mystery shopping years ago. I just never, 
I just really tried to find out the information on how to do it. So this time around, I did. I signed up for only like four or five companies right now. But it seemed like you have to sign up with like 30 or more to keep the shops coming. So you will always, you know, be doing shops and making money with the different companies. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how these couple of shops turned out. Because once you do the shop, you still wait like four to six weeks before you get paid. Because they have to review the information that you gave them. You know, they ask you to fill out a survey. They tell you what to observe when you go into the different businesses, establishments. And then you have to fill out a survey telling them your fines. And then you submit it to them. They have to review it, right? And make sure it's accurate before you get paid. So that's why I said we're gonna wait and see how these two shops turn out before we just go full force into it. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to start back doing videos. I, you know, I'm still doing my Avon, selling my Avon. Um, I just have to put the, um, my office together. I haven't put my office together yet. Um, so once I put my office together or I get some type of corner to do a haul for you guys, I will. To do some more product reviews we're going to start back doing vlogging and if you can't tell i'm vlogging on my phone now uh, i actually got a what's it called a memory card or whatever for my phone because it didn't come with my phone <laughs> so i had to buy that separately mm. so you you pay what five or six hundred dollars for a phone which is crazy um and it don't even come with the memory card you have to buy that separate but i just wanted to check in with you guys let you know what was going on with me um nothing much really like i'm still here i'm still getting things together but hopefully we can um do some thrifting this weekend if nothing comes up the weather stays nice and shiny we can get out um because i'm i know my daughter needs to get out she's been in the house since 4th of July so I know she needs to get out so hopefully we have something to show you guys this weekend and um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe uh, feel free to go back and look at previous videos that I have uploaded <clears throat> share with your family and friends my channel and just let our community grow as it grows, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next video.